Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exclusive video from Ringo Kicks. Today's topic, the Air Jordan 12 Retro, the Masters. Let's get into this. Yo, it's your boy Ringo back again with a new video, Ringo Kicks. Today, we have the Air Jordan 12 Retro, the Master. As you all know, ladies and gentlemen, this particular shoe right here was very, very difficult to cop. Um, it wasn't easy. Um, I'm actually quite uh, lucky to actually have this pair. Um, they were doing uh, tickets and, and, and all these other things at the uh, local foot action and I didn't have my ticket. I thought it was just gonna be an easy cop where you just get up in the morning, go to the store, bing the bang, one, two, three, you got the kicks. It wasn't like that. I walked out there, there was a long line. Um, they were asking people, do you have your tickets? I'm like, I don't even have no tickets. Dude came out, was like, yo, if you don't have a ticket, you ain't getting the shoe. I was like, damn, man, how am I gonna get this shoe? They had a particular sister in front of me. She was basically trying to get a GS size. She had her ticket, but they ran out of her size, even though she had a ticket. So she asked me, she was like, yo, you need a ticket? I was like, yeah, yeah, let me get that ticket. She gave me the ticket, and henceforth, I was able to cop the shoe. So let's get right into this particular shoe. Let me blur myself out and focus on the shoe, because that's what we're here for. What we have here, ladies and gentlemen, is a very, very dope shoe. In my humble opinion, the Air Jordan 12 Retro, the Master, is one of those particular shoes that the Jordan brand released that is very, very nice in a special way. It's one of those type of shoes that uh, a lot of people are gonna say they really don't need because it's an all black shoe. A lot of people will make excuses, but to be quite frank, the shoe is well designed. Uh, you have the gold uh, lace uh, loop hoop areas. I'm not sure what exactly what you would call those. Uh, you could give me the proper term in the, in the comments, but I like the fact that these areas here are gold. Um, the shoelace, to me, the shoelace, if I can take this out, should have had uh, gold tips, in my opinion. Uh, the shoelace should have had gold tips. That would have been nice to have for this particular shoe, it would have made the, the shoe a little more on the premium side. Um, also, another thing is, around the ram area here, this particular area with the jump man, it's all white, right? But the inner portion of that, the inner portion of that should have been gold. It, it, as the thing, as the, the display spins, if you look, the inner part where it says jump man, should have been gold. That would have made the shoe pop even more because it's just all white right here. So when you're walking by in the street, all we see is this little white piece right there. It just looked like just some some color strip on the shoe. But if it said um, jump man in gold, that would have made the shoe stand out even more. So gold lace tips, would have been nice and, and not no cheap material. Um, something that has a little weight to it and a little creativity on the shoe on the shoe tips would have been nice. Um, all in all, the leather quality on the shoes is very nice. Um, I mentioned in the, sh the shoe review on the Retro 12's uh, Vivid Pink that most people would consider the Vivid Pink to have a nice tumble-like leather, which is better than the Master 12s. Um, although I would agree that the leather on the, on the Vivid Pinks is very nice, um, when you really study the Master 12s leather, this particular leather here, the quality of this leather is very nice and suitable for this particular shoe. Um, so I, I don't wanna say that it's, it's a less quality. Um, it's a very good quality for this particular colorway. 
um, if you own this shoe, there's a certain style in which you have to wear when rocking this particular shoe. You just can't come outside and just throw on these all black shoes with any type of gear. Your gear have to be on par with the shoe. If you're gonna wear a hat, your hat has to be a leather black hat with gold accents in it in terms of, uh, let's say, the uh, uh, Chicago Bulls New Era type style hat with gold, a gold um, bull on the front with gold accents on the sides and whatnot. But it has to be leather. It has to match the style of the shoe. Um, also, the type of shirts you wear, the type of jeans you wear, whether it's jeans, short pants, um, it have to be on point with this particular shoe and the type of watch you have plays another role. Um, the type of watch you have, it must be a very flashy watch, a watch that stands out because the shoe has a lot of character in it. The reason why a lot of people tend to not like all black shoes is because they don't realize the integrity and, and the, the craftsmanship that is put into this particular shoe. When you look at the design, how the shoe is all black, um, the upper is all black, the midsole all black, um, it's designed like that to give the shoe character. Obviously, if we, if we take a look at the French blues or the flu games, those colorways are gonna get our attention right away because they're very flashy colors. But an all black shoe, um, most people tend to find them uh, not that uh, attractive, if you will. But the way this shoe is designed, uh, the, the, the color, all black with the gold hits, that is what makes this shoe very unique. That is why this is called the master. This, is, this shoe right here is fire. This is flames right here, hot flames. And here on Ringo Kicks, we give this shoe a rating of a 10 of 10. It's just one of those shoes that um, you must have in your collection. And I'm very fortunate that I was able to cop this shoe. Um, I believe that um, if that particular woman was not in that line, I was not gonna have this shoe because they literally said you had to have the ticket in order to get this particular shoe. So I'm very, very happy with that. I'm very happy with this, the quality of this shoe. Um, as you can see on the screen, I've been showing multiple images, multiple pictures and reels, showing the shoe to give you a detailed uh, visual of what the shoe looks like. Um, I tend to focus on clarity, quality, and detail. These are some, some of the key points and key features you're gonna find here on Ringo Kicks. Um, all in all, um, the shoe is dope. Um, I, I went true to size. You can go true to size on this particular shoe. Um, I wear a, a size 11 and a half in sneakers. Um, that's the particular shot, size I use in, in Jordan shoes. I could actually rock an 11 and still have a lot of room in the shoe. It's just that for me personally, I buy 11 and a halves because I, I don't like wearing shoes that are tight fitted or shoes that don't allow me to move my feet around in the shoe. I like I like to have that room so that your feet can breathe. Um, a lot of times people tend to buy shoes and let's say a particular size is not available, they'll get the lower size and the shoe is fitting on their feet very uncomfortable. Um, I don't think that you should wear shoes that are uncomfortable, especially when you're spending $200 on a pair of shoes. You should get the shoe that is actually your size. And if they don't have the size, don't spend your money on something that you're going to be uncomfortable, uncomfortable with while wearing. But then again, um, this shoe is fire. Um, this is just one of those situations where the fire department have to be called. Um, you know, it is what it is. It's heat. Um, anyone who says that this shoe is, uh, I guess, not all of that, because I heard a couple of people online say that they don't they don't really like the master 12s it's not really all that great they were saying that the vivid pink ones are better and i'm like again these people don't know kicks they don't really understand the game but um all in all the shoe is dope um the shoe is fire 
Um, I'm very impressed with the quality of the shoe. Um, everything about it is nice. Um, you know, you have your, um, if I can take one of the shoes to explain, you got your carbon fiber on the bottom of the shoe. On the bottom down here, you got carbon fiber, as you can see by the images on the screen. Detailed shots. You have your jump man on the front of the toe area of the shoe. Um, you also have your 23 in the back with your Jordan stayed in the simple thing that you hear in mostly everybody's video quality inspired by the greatest player ever you have a jump man right here on the pull tab in the back on the tongue you have a jump man right there and you have two the number two and what you call the three on the bottom for 23 and um, you know like I said you have your gold your um, your white side piece here that says Jumpman. Um, me personally, um, I would have liked to seen the Jumpman in the middle, like the grooves that's in between the Jumpman. I believe that should have been gold. If that was gold, it would have popped nicely with the white and it would have blended in nicely with the ram area here with this snake-like skin material. And it would have just looked real nice if it was gold. Not necessarily this entire white piece being gold. That would have been a little over, over the top, overdue. But the jump man area in between the grooves should have been gold. Um, also, uh, in the back area of the shoe, everything back here is on point. The whole styling, the color chose, the, the colors that was chosen for this area is on point. Um, you have a white jump man in the inside of the shoe. As you can see by the pic of this on the screen, you have a jump man in there. And all in all, um, that's pretty much it. Like the shoe is fire. Um, it's a very dope shoe. Um, let me know what you think about it. There's really nothing else to, to really talk about. The, the leather quality is great. It's appropriate for the shoe. Um, I don't really like to get into the comparisons of leathers that much, even though um, there are certain shoes that uh, leather quality is displayed even better. For example, a, a, another sleeper in terms of shoes that a lot of people are sleeping on is the Air Jordan 1 um, OG, uh, the Chicago. People are sleeping on this particular shoe. And the leather quality on those shoes, and I'm gonna do a review on them. The leather quality of those shoes perfect. I'm talking about soft, perfect leather. Um, you can only experience this if you own the shoe. But I'm going to do a review on that later on. But uh, yeah, the Master 12s, Air Jordan 12, Master 12s. The Master. Dope shoe. Um, it's a must cop. Um, let me know what you think. Was it difficult for you to get? Was it, was it easy? Because it sure wasn't easy for me. It was a fight. I wasn't expecting it. I thought that when I was going to go on that line, that it was just going to be easy. Walk in the store, get your kicks, and walk out. It was not like that. You had people online. <laughs> I think probably 300 people were online, and they all went before me. Because they had their information. They had their tickets. They had everything in there on, on deck. And, uh, me and a couple of other probably 70 80 different people we had no tickets so a lot of people went home that day sad a lot of people went home with with no kicks and fortunately for me that sister was in the front and she was able to hand me her ticket and i was able to cop these shoes and i'm very 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 happy about that because i would not have felt good to be even standing on that line for that long and then not be able to cop so all in all, that's what I'm gonna. That's my take on this particular shoe. Um, it's a dope colorway, dope shoe. All in out, you know, it's just clean. It's a clean shoe. Um, when you rock this shoe, make sure that you're on point as usual. You know, I can't stress that enough to the brothers. Make sure you're on point with your gear. Make sure you study the shoe. Make sure you understand the character of the shoe, so that you can understand the type of gear that you're gonna buy to rock with this shoe. You have to study the shoelace. You gotta study the way 
the, the, the shoe is designed so that when you're choosing a hat, the hat flawlessly blends with the shoe. The shirt style you use flawlessly. Go to those shops online. Like go to, like I said in my other video, 23 is back. They usually have ads and banners where you can go to sites that make shirts that are designed for these particular shoes. Every time they drop a new pair of J's, there is always a shirt company that's making shirts, socks, and all kinds of stuff to make your shoes pop the way they need to. Go to these particular sites, check them out, and cop some of these shirts, but make sure you cop a shirt that's gonna go with your character, with your style of how you are, so that when you represent with these shoes, you, you fly as hell, man. People people looking at you like, damn, Mel, you always on point with your, with, your, with your kicks, with your gear, yo. Everything is always fly. Well, that is how you should be, and that's what we represent here on Ringo Kicks. So with that said, leave your comments, leave your feedback. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you share it. And also, subscribe, because when you subscribe to this channel, you're motivating me. You're helping me to continue to improve my videos and you're also showing support that you're actually interested in the quality and the reviews and all the detail that I actually put into my video because I do this for you people out there who are actually interested in the shoes that we all love. So with that said, this is Ringo Kick signing out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace. What are you waiting for? Click that subscribe button already. <laughs>